Well, moving on to the other big story tonight, and this one is from Kerala. Death threats to a lecturer and an award-winning writer. A woman lecturer has filed a police complaint today alleging death threats and the circulation of her morphed images on social media after she backed a student's program that had put M.F. Hussain's portrait of Goddess Saraswati, one, of course, that had created huge controversy. Meanwhile, a well-known writer who had appealed to Hindus and Muslims to stop attacking each other got a threat to convert to Islam or else. Death threats to a 60-year-old award-winning writer in Kerala's Khorikot district and a college lecturer in Thrissur. K.P. Ramanuni got this anonymous letter after he wrote an article in a regional daily appealing to the Hindu and Muslim fundamentalists to stop attacking each other in the name of religion. It says, we are giving you six months to convert to Islam. If not, we will chop off your right hand like we did in the case of Peter Joseph and your left leg. It was an anonymous threatening letter, you know. And their provocation was that I had written a long article in Madhyam Daily. It was really an appeal to both Hindus and Muslims. And there is no point in considering a Muslim as a enemy for Hindus. 35-year-old lecturer Deepa Nishant has alleged that her morphed pictures have been circulating on social media, followed by death threats over the phone after she backed a student's program, which had put up banners including M.F. Hussain's controversial portrait of Hindu goddess Saraswati to welcome freshers. Police have registered cases, but the accused are yet to be identified. Meanwhile, Kerala Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan tweeted saying, death threats, calls to attack on writers for making an opinion will not be allowed. Government will take stern action on such cases. This is just another example of the growing intolerance across India, where attacking the sexuality of a woman or issuing death threats is becoming a worrying trend, not only on the social media, but also outside. With camera person SP Babu, Sneha Koshi for Indie TV.